We're in the third. So if you draw a line on a piece of paper, that's the first dimension. If you then connect those lines and, and uh, create a house on a piece of paper, that's a two-dimensional structure, or you can move it into a computer. Anything you see in a computer that looks 3D is actually 2D. And because we're in the third, we can see down into 2D, we can see all the way down obviously into 1D, and we can manipulate those dimensions from our higher selves. Now there are beings in fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensions. There's people above us. Because of that, they see us and they recognize the past, present, and future operating all at the same time. Everything's happening at once. There is no separation between the past, present, and the future. The arrow doesn't exist. Because they're higher than us, they can look down into the third and they can see into what we're doing. The fourth dimension is something called a tesseract. If you go into the ancient text, it's Metatron's cube. Meta, M-E-T-A, metaverse, right? They got that from Metatron's cube. Now this fourth dimension is really something called a quasi-crystal. And this quasi-crystal in the fourth dimension, it casts a shadow. And the shadow that it casts, it creates the realm that we're living in here. We're living in a shadow of a higher dimension. That shadow creates a third dimension. It actually creates a fractal of it, creates this fractal holographic matrix that we're actually maneuvering in in the third dimension right now.